I didn't even think it was possible to start the master's degree early, but it looks like it might be possible. So we'll talk about that in this video. Before we jump into the master's degree, I should probably give you an update on the bachelor's degree. So the bachelor's degree, I finished my final class. I, well, I finished the final exam of that final class on Sunday of last week, but they didn't officially recognize it and mark it as complete until Thursday, even though it is marked as complete as of you know the date that I passed it, which was Sunday, it just it didn't officially go through until Thursday. I talked with my program mentor on Friday, and so she like officially recommended me for graduation, and I went through that whole process. I'll still tell you about that when it's all done, but um, long story short, I should officially graduate, I think, by Friday. It just, the whole application process needs to finish, and they said it'll finish by Friday. All right, so let's just address this whole master's degree because somebody's wrong. This keeps happening where I tell you guys one thing, and then I find out from somebody else at WGU is different. It's just a mess, and I'll talk about that eventually, but somebody's wrong. Either I am wrong, all of you are wrong, everybody on YouTube that's made videos are wrong, everybody that I've read on Reddit is wrong, and my first enrollment counselor is wrong, or my program mentor is wrong. Somebody's wrong, and this is the problem. I mentioned it in a few videos, but the last one I think I mentioned it in was the video where I talked about my 2023 plans for this year. And in that video, I said that the earliest that I could do the master's degree was in July. And the reason why was because I was starting the bachelor's degree in January, and you cannot switch or do any other degree until that first term is complete, no matter what. I was told that this includes everything. So in my case, if you finish school early, doesn't matter. You got to wait till the term is over before you can start something new. There's a lot of people out there who try to change degrees. Maybe you started in January and you decided, you know what, I want to do a different degree instead. You got to wait till the end of the term before you can start that new degree. There are people that might drop out and then change their mind and say, you know what, maybe I should do the degree after all, but they can't do it again until they, they get to the next term. That's just how I was told. That's what I read, but program mentor said something different. And also, and in fact, let me, let me just show you this. So this is what my page looks like since I finished the degree. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it does give you immediately the option to reapply as a new student. Even though I haven't technically finished the graduation yet, it's still listed there. And I just want to show you a picture of what happens at the very end. So if you go through that whole thing, it's only three steps. But when you get to the third step, it has you choose your interest, choose your major, and then choose the start date. And the problem here was the start date doesn't say July 1st. It says August 1st. And that's a drop down list that you can't like type in your own date. So I was even more confused and a little bit frustrated because I'm like, wait a minute. Is it saying that I absolutely can't start until August? That's even worse than before. And so I decided without doing any of this, I, I backed out of it, but I decided, you know what? I need to talk to my program mentor. Remember this all happened a couple of days ago on the same day. It was on Friday. So I called my program mentor and I'm like, hey, this is the situation. I was planning on starting in July because I know that's the earliest I can start, but it's saying August, what's going on here? And she was like, wait, what are you talking about? And so after talking with her, she said, all of that information is completely wrong. The way that it works is once I'm finished with my bachelor's degree, once it's all, all completely done, it's done. There is no term afterwards. There is no being forced to be locked out or anything like that. She said, none of that makes any sense. And I agree with her. I think it was dumb, but that's what I was told. And she's like, no, that's not how that works at all. She said that the system and its whole algorithm thing will show that I can't start until August because that's it just still assumes that I'm not going to finish even though I'm already finished. But she said that all I need to do is just call uh, call in an enrollment counselor, talk to them, and they can just bypass all of that. If I want to start immediately, I can start immediately. Well, okay, so to be clear, she said, you're probably not going to be able to start in March because you're way past that cutoff date. But... If you, you know, apply now, there's no reason why you can't start in April. Now, look, I like my program mentor, as you guys already know. But to be honest with you, again, WGU, I get conflicting information all the time from their staff members. So I actually thought that she was wrong in this situation. Um, but the only thing I needed to do was to call the enrollment department. So I actually couldn't find the number to the enrollment department. So I called student services. They transferred me over to the enrollment department. I then explained the whole situation to them. And they were like, yeah, that sounds perfectly fine you should be able to start in April. They said, you won't be able to start in March because it's too late, but we can get you in in April, no problem. So what they did was they assigned me a new enrollment counselor and the enrollment counselor sent me an email 
And, you know, the, the first person told me that they will probably call me on Monday. And so, you know, person sent me an email. I was like, hey, great. You know, I'd love to talk to you on Monday. If, if possible, if we could talk today, that would be great. But if not, anytime on Monday, I'm totally available. Super excited. And uh, that person didn't respond back. So we'll see what happens on Monday. But yeah, it looks like based off of what that person said and my program mentor, I can actually start three months earlier in April. There is some serious good and a little bit of bad to this. Really, the bad thing is just that, you know, I was really kind of planning on giving myself a bit of a break, but it looks like uh, I'm just going to be jumping right into the next thing. And also, you know, the company that I work for, it, it was officially acquired 100% last week. So, you know, now we're in the process of merging the two companies and there's a lot of unknown that's happening there. It, it's just going to pick up. It's going to be really, really busy at work. So um, trying to do that on top of the master's degree at the same time, you know, learning a brand new company, it, it's going to be difficult. But the major positive is one, I'm starting three months early, which means I'll probably finish, you know, with before the end of the six months is over with, um, which would be pretty cool. But then also there's no more uh, conflicts with the video game that's coming out in August. So uh, there's there's definitely some good positives. And remember, I don't have to do this. I don't have to start early. I could just wait and start in Q3, but starting in Q2 instead would be a lot better for me. I will give you guys an update later on this week, I guess, whenever I know officially 100% I'm either going to be able to do it or I'm not going to be able to do it. I need to talk with that enrollment counselor and see, you know, make sure this is actually legit and it's going to happen. I also now need to figure out what it is that I'm going to do in March because I was thinking about, you know, pursuing the CISA and CISM certifications. However, you know, now that I'm potentially going to be doing the master's degree, maybe it would make more sense for me to go ahead and start pre-studying instead. So I really don't know. I have to figure out what I want to do. But again, I'll give you guys an update later on in the week when things are confirmed. I'm sure some of you are wondering, what's my plan as far as, you know, am I going to do the same thing with the master's degree that I did with the bachelor's degree with the whole graphs and transferring credits and tracking everything? And the answer is kind of yes, but it's far, far less. Um, the master's degree in total only has nine courses. That's it. And I can transfer in a, a maximum of three. Um, two of them I'm 100% transferring in. One of them I'm trying to debate about if I want to transfer or not, but I will cover that in another video. I'll, I'll show you, you know, the graphs and information and everything later. But again, I need to confirm it first. So let me do that. And then once I have that plan figured out, once I know what we're doing, then I'll make another video. I'll kind of explain things to you and then we'll go from there. Those are all of my updates for now, though. I know this is going to be crazy. I, I told you it was going to be my grind year. I didn't really think that things were going to happen so quickly. And to be honest with you, there's even more things that you guys don't know about yet. I'm just not ready to really talk about it until I confirm a few more things on my end. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Until my next video, you guys take care.